I'm originally from Canada, actually, and uh, I started here as a beekeeper. We, we opened up a brewery and a meadery uh, quite some time ago. Over the years, we, we've been selling a lot to, uh, to Americans, to tourists that come, would come up and visit us in the markets in Quebec. Uh, and we, we have a lot of demand, a lot of clientele in the U.S. So we decided that finally it's time that we, we open a production in the, in the U.S. on the American side. So uh, honey is a, is a special sugar for, for any types of alcohol. It's easily fermentable. Um, contrary to what people think, it's not, it doesn't add a sweetness to the alcohol. It actually, it, it adds a light, lighter side, a light refreshing floral side to the beer. It's just something unique. Uh, we don't see too many other brewers doing an actual honey beer. Many people who, who put uh, honey in their beer, but uh, not many that make their beer from honey, which really makes us unique and makes us stand out in the market. So we, we've got four types of beers that we're coming out with. Um, we have a, an American Honey Blonde, a American Honey White, a West Coast Honey IPA, and a, a Raspberry Honey Sour. All the, all the beers are, are very light, very refreshing beers, perfect for summer. My personal favorite is the white, just because it's my style that I, that I prefer. Uh, perfect for the beach, perfect for summer, perfect for, for any occasion. is actually more of a hybrid. It's it's technically called a braggot. Um, we'll basically produce our beer on one side the way we would regularly produce a beer, and we'd produce our mead on the other side the way we'd regularly produce a mead, but we'd, we'd mix them together and ferment them together. So you end up with a, a percentage or a ratio of mead to beer uh, hybrid. Um, it's not sweet. Everyone thinks it's gonna be sweet because it's, it's full of honey, but actually the honey is 100% fermented out. Uh, so it leaves just a nice floral aroma in the beer. Uh, very light, very refreshing beer. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely be producing some meads. It's, a, it's the cornerstone of our, of our business. So we will definitely be producing some meads once we're, we're on the ground and up and running, yeah. I'll be moving to Texas uh, actually next week. So by the time this video is, <laughs> if people are seeing this video, I'll, I'll be already on the ground. Um, we'll be opening a production in fall this year, at the end of fall this year. Um, we're hoping to start the production around November, December timeframe and selling early next year, uh, offering our products to, to Texans and, uh, and shipping uh, some of our meads uh, to other, other states as well. Yeah. We we decided on Texas after after a lot of research, a lot of a lot of consideration. After a, a couple trips down there, um, everyone we met was just so so friendly, so helpful. Uh, we we really had a great time being there. The ambience, the community, uh, the community spirit was great, and we we loved the sunshine too. So <laughs> that was a big part of it. The weather for us.